Hi Leos, welcome to your weekly reading for January 1st through 7th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Moonology Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in show me how does leo feel about the person on their mind all right we have cards flying out already Ooh, love passion really wanting this this feels different and waiting for it to happen three of wands came out as an additional card um, six of cups is at the bottom of the deck some of you maybe it's like you're waiting for somebody from the past or this just feels really good it feels innocent new and like oh my gosh i love love um so queen of cups the ace of wands and the judgment card i am having a couple of cards that come out as a second chance here Maybe it's a second chance for love, you know, not a second chance with an ex. Um, <laughs> but some of you, maybe you're giving an ex or someone that, you know, maybe it didn't work out in the past. You're giving them another chance or you're some, vice versa. They're giving you another chance. Let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you. All right, so it's almost like they're thinking about things um, and just kind of waiting to make a final decision here because we have the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and then the Seven of Cups. So this person, you know, being hurt in their past, they're not, you know, completely done with love, but they want to give this a chance here. And they're like, I've been hurt before, but I really feel that this could be something. And I really want to take a chance and look at it. And that seven of cups comes out as making that choice to do so, but waiting to really make the choice as they, they're kind of feeling things out to make sure that it's the right choice. Am I making the right option? Am I making the right choice? Am I going to mess up? I don't want to get this wrong. So let's go ahead and look at the connection between you and this person. We have some stuck energies because there's a lot of practicality. Um, also, yeah, there's a misunderstanding here. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords, the Eight or the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords, and then the Two of Cups coming out in a 50-50 energy. Maybe the misunderstanding was in the past, or you know, someone being stuck in their head here in their thoughts about worst case scenario stuff and being very practical like relationships don't work so why try and that comes off more so of this person because you're really embracing love here leo and wanting this but your person is a little hesitant and they need a little more security and they need to learn more so the page of swords at the bottom of the deck they're going to pull back a little bit don't think that they're going to run i don't see them running away i just see them you know pulling back a little bit to give this situation time to grow i don't know how much time that is needed here if it's something that's going to be a long time and you feel like you can't wait that long it's completely understandable to say i can't do that so let's go ahead and clarify this queen of cups following your heart here and feeling that it is the right thing to do um Wanting things to be very abundant, but you're not seeing that. You feel like there's blocks, like this person is blocking you and not interested or something like that because you're waiting on them. So the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Empress, the Two of Swords, and then the Four of Cups here. And so you're ready to see a change and you're like, I don't know what to do, but like, I really want this person. I want to give it a real chance and I want love. Um, but, you know, there's this stress of maybe even rejection. Maybe you're the one moving slow to tell this person how you feel or show them how you really feel, Leo. And if that's the case, and if it's because you feel, feel, sorry, fear, rejection, um, we all go through it. It's okay. You're never going to know what could happen until you ask or find out or, you know, take a chance. <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and clarify that Ace of Wands. And we have the Page of Pentacles, the Lovers in Reverse, and the Strength card that come out. Like very attracted to this person, wanting to reach out to them, but there's something about maybe it's like a, you feel there's a misconnection. So you're being patient. You don't want to make it look like you're desperate or something like that. Um, four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure what this lovers in reverse is. It just could be like a separation that you two have as well. Some of you, it could be a separation, giving this a second chance. Like I said, that did come out. Um, and wanting to give something that you two haven't been together a second chance here. It's hard to let go of what happened in the past. So that's where that fear comes in as well. Let's go ahead and clarify the judgment card. All right, so the judgment card is clarified by the page of cups, the seven of wands, the world card, and then the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So if you're wanting a second chance with someone, I see you coming in with an apology and um, like I, I'm accepting my accountability on my side to feel complete with this and, you know, taking responsibility for it here, um, whatever that is on your part. And if not a situation like that, I do see where you want to make something happen and feeling that this is different and, you know, it just doesn't feel the same. It makes me feel so alive and just innocent and this, not and the other wanting to give this a chance and fight for it is something that you try to do, but then you're met with this person with a little bit of procrastination from them. Again, it's like you keep trying to push a little bit more than they're allowing. So let's go ahead and clarify this nine of wands. This person has been hurt in the past, so they are a little bit in limbo of taking a risk and a chance here towards something that they're not sure about because the choices and options that they had in the past where, oh, this person's just really good looking have led them to not so great um, choices. So the hangman, the fool, and the seven of cups, as well as the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. But, you know, it's like this person wants, the more they think about it, the more that they're like, yeah, I want this. I want this love. Um... I also see it as when they started seeing you, Leo, they weren't sure if they should keep their options open or not. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Cups. So you're the right choice. I don't know how that... Hold on. When it comes to other options, you are the right choice. Okay, so like you are the, the stable choice. You're the right choice. I don't know how that molds into their mind, um, meaning like is this just a practical thing, that, you know, choice that they're making? Is there love around it? Are there true feelings there? What's the intent, right? So um, that Ten of Cups is clarified by the Justice card, the Eight of Wands, and also the Page of Wands here. Feeling that they are in love with you and wanting to give you the truth and coming in really fast because you are the right choice. And so they want to explore this and they just go for it. So let's go ahead and clarify this Seven of Cups here. They are really happy that they chose you, Leo, because they feel there's a victory and a lot of stability, growth, happiness, and moving forward towards what feels like um, overall financial security and just security within themselves. They don't have to doubt who they are or if you're doing anything wrong. So um, we do have the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Swords that comes out. Let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you.
All right, so we have the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and then the Death card, as well as the Tower at the bottom of the deck. I am seeing that um, somebody decides they just want to be friends because there's worry about the other person might not be ready, and there's it creates some shock here. Ooh, that will have to be in the next reading coming up, of course, but... Um, the outcome with that ace of cups and the nine of swords, you know, when it comes to, are you sure you're happy and want to be with me? I'm not sure which one of you is doing this. I get the feeling it's them, but it could be that you end up looking at the situation and worried about things ending here. And so, um, it creates some shakeup in the connection between the two of you but hopefully you two can resolve it and we will look at that in the next reading coming up so let's go ahead and um in your next week's reading coming up i should say let's get some messages for you all right we have prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus and we have meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces all right. So this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.